Plotting and curve fitting experimental data in Excel is commonly required in engineering labs. In this example, we are given sets of data in a PDF document. To transfer the data, highlight the PDF and copy it. Now open a new Excel document. Paste the information into Excel. Unfortunately, when the information was inserted, it became one column. In order to split the data into different columns, use the Text to Columns options under the Data tab. Choose the Delimited option, then select Next. The delimiter for this example is Space. Make sure that it is checked. Select Next again, then Finish. Let's rearrange the data to look more like the PDF we copied. This will make it easier when plotting and reporting data. Final edits can be made later for a better presentation of data. Select the first data set. Insert a scatter chart with markers only. It will be easier to see the trend lines with only markers on the graph. Whenever a graph is plotted, include a proper title. Also, label the axes including units. This will make sure that the graph can be easily understood. Before we move on to trend lines, this chart is moved to a new sheet for a better view. This is optional. Now add the trend line. Choose the exponential function. Make sure to display the equation and the r squared value on the chart. After completing the first data set, we will move on to the second data set. Because the graphing process is the same, let's skip ahead to the trend lines. Rather than just choosing the exponential trend line, we will experiment with trend lines to see which is the best fit. We can do this visually and by examining the R squared value. R squared values close to 1 indicate a good trendline fit. If it equals 1, the data fits perfectly. Let's look at the various trendlines Excel has to offer. First, the linear trendline. Then, the exponential trendline. the logarithmic trend line. The second order polynomial trend line. The third order polynomial trend line. And lastly, the power trend line. Take a closer look at the trend lines and R squared values. Notice the R squared values for the polynomial trend lines increase for higher order polynomials. Let's examine this trend by adding a sixth order polynomial trend line to fit the data. At first glance, it would seem that the 6-order polynomial is the best fit. 
Let's predict the orifice plate discharge at 1 meter of head. The forecast feature in Excel is found in the Formatting Trend Lines menu. Use this forecast feature to make predictions. Simply move the forecast periods forward in increments of 0.1. So, what do you think? Is the six-order polynomial truly the best fit? Try forecasting other trend lines to determine which one predicts a reasonable discharge for higher fluid heads.